Hello there and welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In our video today we're going to cover a different type of function family and that's called the text function family and in particular we're going to examine the left function. We're going to understand what the left function is and what it does. Now in this example here we've got in column A a list of phone numbers and it's set up with the area code surrounded by parentheses followed by the phone number itself. Now let's say that your goal or task, for whatever reason, is to isolate the area code into column B. It could be that there's a new database that only requires the area code in a specific place. Uh, it could just be that you want to see how many area codes or how many phone numbers have the same area code. But regardless, your task is to isolate the area code in another column. So you will take a look here and you have this first number. And by the way, um, these phone numbers, I randomly generated the numbers. So if you happen to recognize a number, it's completely by chance. Okay, so let's go back. We want to see and determine how to get area codes from column A into column B. Now, a very simple way to do that is simply to look at, say, cell A2, and we know that the area code is 145, and we type that out here as 145, keeping the same format. Now, you'll notice when I typed it out, I included a small apostrophe, and that's because I wanted this to be a string or a text value, and so you need the apostrophe in order to maintain the parentheses, because, take a look, that's exactly what we want. Now, if I did not include that apostrophe, the parens could be interpreted as negative signs. So, in order to keep the same format as we had originally shown in column A, we will need to include the apostrophe followed by the open paren area code close paren. Now, that's fine, and I'm not questioning this is absolutely correct. The problem is, if you have a list of, I'm scrolling down here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 phone numbers, this method is going to take a very, very long time. So, why not be more productive and efficient? We're going to discover a function that you can create just once. You write out the function once, and then you can copy and paste that formula down so that you can do this literally in two seconds. Okay, so the function that we're going to use is called the left function. Now the left function takes on two arguments. Uh, the first argument is the actual text itself, or the string value, and the second argument is the desired length of the string. So in this case here, we start off with an equal sign as always, followed by the function name which is left. The text value would be cell A2. It's the uh, phone number that we're referencing. Now, because we just want the area code and we want to maintain the same format, we want to include the open paren, followed by the three digits, which make up the area code, followed by the closed paren. So the, the length of that is five, because there are five characters, the first being the open paren, the second, third, and fourth being the area code itself, and the fifth being the closed paren. So I include the number five because that is the desired length of the string or the text. I'm going to be using the words text and string interchangeably. They mean the same exact thing. So that's it. You've got your two arguments and you've got the function name left. Close the paren and click enter. And there you have it. With one simple formula, based off of the left function, you can generate the area code. And the cool thing is, now we can copy this. I can hit Control C, or go up here, Edit, Copy. And then I can highlight the entire column. In this case, I've got 100 phone numbers, and I can paste that formula, Control V, or go, go up here into the Edit button, followed by Paste. And there you can see the area code has been filled in, has been separated from column A into column B. As simple as that. I'm going to open up this column here so you see the exact formula that we used. 
And there you have it. That is the left function. Okay, we'll see you next time.